This video is brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Hey everybody, this is Dak Tribal, and welcome to my very first Let's Play. Um, we are going to be, or I'm going to be playing through my very favorite game of all time. My favorite game of all time, Final Fantasy IX. I've, I fell in love with this game when it was first came out 15 years ago, and I still play it to this day. And we're going to be playing through this. Um, this this LP is more like me having fun and you guys coming along for the ride. Uh, I'm not intending this to be a speed run, and I have no intention of perfecting this game. So, uh, those of you who just want to watch a player who adores this game enjoy it, um, please feel free to do so. A uh, special shout out to my friend uh, Hippie, uh, who sent me a text message a few minutes ago. I appreciate your support. Nobu Uematsu. I met him last year in Omaha. Pretty nice man. Uh, just to forewarn you, if, if you guys think I'm too loud in my audio, please let me know. That way I can turn it down in subsequent uh, episodes. I plan to record a total of one hour of, uh, of footage. Four videos I'm hoping for. Graphics are very nice. <laughs> for a game that's... 15 years old. It's still holding pretty good, in my opinion. But a funny story. Um, I I originally recorded about a, about 15, 20 minutes of this of this and tried to make it as a single video, and then I found out afterwards that my footage did not. I didn't. <laughs> it didn't record the game audio. I didn't turn it. The settings were off, so basically I recorded nothing. I'm basically talking over nothing. So I had to go. I have to go back and re-record at least the first 20 minutes of this of the game. Hopefully, it goes a lot better than that first 20 minutes because uh, there was a boss fight that I just could not get past. I mean, not that it was hard, but there was something I wanted to do in it, and and it was just taking too long. Okay. So here we go. You start off the game by going through this cabin here. There's nothing you really have to do. You just just go and light the middle the the candle that appears in the middle of the room and you can continue on with the story. But there's a couple items here that you'll probably want to grab. First one is over here, which is right here. I'm sorry, right here. 47 gil. Yeah, I know it's not a lot, but this early in the game, you can buy a potion or a phoenix down. Speaking of potions. Oh, and access your configuration, if you want. Um, change movement to run. You'll always run when you're when you're here. Window color, I'll change it to classic, because I like blue more than I do like uh, gray. Um, and that should be it right there. Now all you have to do is light the candle in the middle of the room to continue the story. Who's there? And I'll keep him as Zidane. I like that name. In the beginning, I, I always said his name was Zidane. So when Dissidia came out, I was like, Dissidia Final Fantasy, that PSP game. I, I said, no, they're pronouncing it wrong. Eventually it grew on me. He ain't here yet. Who? Well, him, of course, the boss. All right, so we're gonna go through the first fight. Um, you can steal from this boss, which is what these guys are all thieves. They all have the steal ability. But what you want to do first, if you get the chance to, okay, steal. He'll have two pieces of armor on him. He'll have a potion, a wrist, which Blank just stole. Senna, you want to change to the back row because he can't take a hit. Oh, well that was nifty. The Mage Master is basically a powered-up dagger that you get. You won't be able to get it till later in the game. Or, you know, a couple hours down the road. 
After you steal all the items, I recommend getting at least the Mage Masher if you can. Go ahead and attack the boss as, uh, you know, go ahead and attack the enemy as, until he falls. That's all you can do. And that's it. You'd find out it's your boss. Oh, oh my head. Go easy, you guys. Uh, that creaking sound you guys might be hearing, uh, that is my chair because it needs oil. Yeah. Phew. Hey, fools, that fight wasn't as long as the last one, I tell you that. You're looking a lot better. <laughs> Aren't you supposed to be saying brouhaha? Alright, let's start this meeting already. I'm going to read uh, the bubbles, you know, the, the character dialogue. If you guys do not like that, please let me know before I release my next set. That way I know I, can't, I don't have to do it. Because these guys obviously don't have voices, and I'm going to try to put my own spin on it. Oh, sorry, not spin, but I will actually tell you. Here's the plan. Tantalus, the infamous band of daring thieves, that's us, is heading to the Kingdom of Alexandria. Our mission? To kidnap the heir to the throne, Princess Garnett. I'll take it from here, so listen up. Our ship's about to dock at Alexandria, and when it does, we're going to put on our costumes and perform I Want to Be Your Canary, the most popular play in Alexandria. Break a leg, Marcus, because you're playing the lead. Leave the acting to me. Of course, the real kidnappers will be Blank and Sedan. I'll distract the audience from backstage with these little buggers. Can't stand Oglobs. But I'll manage, so don't worry about me. And that'll be your cue, Zidane. If you choose the first option, you'll actually get something funny. You bet, you're gonna kidnap the fat-ass, butt-ugly queen What am I saying? <laughs> okay, that's when I kidnap the princess, right? You bet, you're gonna kidnap the most babelicious beauty in all of Alexandria, Princess Garnett. <laughs> this game is, fam uh, I think, is more well-known for its humor than a lot of other things, because compared to Final Fantasy VII and VIII, this game has more humor in it. There's a certain line said later in, in the game that makes me laugh every time I think about it. Um, compared to the other Final Fantasies, many people say that this is one of the best. It's a retro game. It was originally supposed to be a Gaiden episode, or a spin-off game, but they changed it and made it into a main title, which I think was best. This is one of my favorite moments in the game coming up here. Shit just got real. Conceived and produced by Hiro Hironobu Sakaguchi, who, if I correct me if I'm wrong, was the original creator of Final Fantasy. Back way back in 1987, I believe the first game was released on the original NES, which I played, and I have a copy on my shelf right over here. You can't see the shelf, obviously, but I have it. It doesn't work anymore, I don't think, but... Yeah. Oof! The, I think the controller's on vibrate, so... Alexandria! Are you alright? Here, you dropped your ticket. Bye-bye! Okay, there's a lot of items around here that you can grab. Um, you just don't... Oh, you little brat! Why, but why you... Get out of my way! Hey, you're the one that bumped into me! All I was doing was looking for items, you little shit! You go into houses and whatnot and look for... You can get all sorts of items. Um, mostly just potions and small amounts of gill and cards. The potions are actually more useful than the other two. But, uh, you know, anything is uh, worth it at this point. Except the cards. I really never cared for the card game in this game. Okay. And there's a lovely waitress. Uh, potion. And here's a, here's, a little, uh, here's a little funny thing about the game. 
is that if a character blocks your way, you can actually walk through them. Watch. Yeah, you actually walked through her to get past her. Oh. Buzzards. Oh, what? I, I watched The Hunchback of Notre Dame yesterday. That's why I said that line. Pretty funny. Uh, the shops, are, I think, are all closed, if I remember correctly, because of the... Uh, yeah. Oh, no, I guess I guess the shop is open. If you feel... I would at least buy a, a couple, or at least all of the Phoenix Downs you can get. You never know when you might have trouble. Because that first battle with Baku, I actually did get uh, did have Senna get knocked out, and I realized I only had two Phoenix Downs. And you don't want to be... Un, uh, until your characters learn the, the ability to raise the dead... You don't want to uh, go into a battle without enough uh, Phoenix Downs. But you can walk up to the ticket booth and talk to this guy and show him your ticket to move along the story. The other options he has is um, is uh, to talk about Alexandria and the princess, but they're not worthy unless you want to sit through this. What's this? There's something odd about this ticket. Why, it's another fake. I've seen so many today. No. Now, now, don't cry. I know how you must feel. You're stuck in a booth, okay? Here, I'll give you these. Do try to cheer up now, hmm? Goblin card, fang card, skeleton card. Talk to Alleyway Jack to learn more about cards. Good luck, lad. Um, you can find items anywhere in this in this area, but I don't have the time. You want to try? This jump rope game, I don't think serves any real purpose. Except... Alf. Damn it! There is one item up here that you should get, though. The Phoenix Pinion. And if you talk to this kid... I hid my three precious cards in a safe place. Um, the location that he's talking about is... Oh, past here. Blast it. Hey, you made me miss, you little klutz. You're on the ladder, you have the hammer, it's your fault, not mine. Besides, you should be concentrating on the hammer and the nail that you have to pound in. What a goat. I don't know if he's a goat or what. Okay, well, the three cards that that kid was talking about is in the chapel up ahead. You're the one with the phony ticket, aren't you? Yeah, I saw the guy, I saw the guy tell you it was fake. Where the hell were you hiding? Ah, whatever. I'll let you see the show if you become my slave. Well, what do you say? No. Not right now. I'm gonna go get those cards from the chapel first. There's a couple of item more items in the chapel that you should get, including a tent, which is actually pretty useful. As I remember correctly, the tents in this game are famous for the fact that I think they fully heal you with one. If you use one tent, you're fully healed. Of course, if I'm wrong, I know the comment section is going to let me know. I will read your comments, but I won't. I don't think I'd ever be able to guarantee that I'll reply to them. Okay. And I think if I did this right... There it is. Ironite, Goblin, Fang. The Ironite card is actually the rarest of the three. But just because the name is rare doesn't mean the actual stats of the card is rare. I don't fully understand... I, Or I do understand the card game rules, but I don't think I'd ever be able to explain them to you because every time I've won, I think it's always been by random. I think if you come back here, this kid will be still be here. Hi, Star! Bye! Okay, you talk to him and instigate um, the continuing of the story. Awesome, now for your first assignment. You go stand over there and see if anyone's coming. Okay. Whatever, kid. All clear? Yeah, it's clear. If you say, I think someone's coming, he says, What do you mean, you think? Awesome. Engage according to mission parameters. Um, this guy coming in through the alley, if you do not talk to him, he will rob you of some gill. But since I have almost nothing, he would probably take the rest of it. That guy was Alleyway Jack. But I don't feel like talking to him because all he does is talk about the cards. And we don't have time for that. Now we're going to climb up this tower. It's very dangerous. You go first. 